What's up, Technobo here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using PvP levels. PvP Levels is a simple plugin that adds a score system, encouraging PvP and rewarding good players. With item shops, boosters, and more cool features, it's an interesting plugin. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section, select the Spigot tab, and search for PvP Levels. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that this plugin also requires the Placeholder API plugin to work properly. It also supports MMO items, so if you'd like to include even more customizable items later, then make sure to install the MMO items plugin. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Upon connecting to the server, you'll get a welcome message in chat from PvP Levels. But before we jump into any commands, I'll quickly grab a kill here so you can see what PvP looks like. Upon finishing a player, we get a PvP Levels message in chat saying we gained XP, followed by the XP required to level up. What does all this mean? Well, we'll get there in a second. Upon getting a fifth kill, we receive an award for having a kill streak. We can get some info on the plugin with slash PvP levels. For help with commands, we can use slash PvP levels help. Slash PvP stats returns your own PvP stats in chat, and you can follow the command with another name to check another player's statistics. Slash PvP profile brings up a GUI where you can check your own PvP stats or check a list of all players that you can sort by kills, deaths, XP, level, kill streak, and more. Slash PvP top followed by kills, deaths, XP, or level returns the top five players for each category in the chat. Slash PvP shop brings up a shop GUI, but I'll quickly set myself to level five and give myself some coins, which we'll cover in the admin command section next. After doing that, I can open up the shop, enter one of these custom shops, and buy myself a couple of items. Slash PvP boosters lets you check your active boosters. The last two menus are empty because we don't have any boosters just yet. Slash PvP admin brings up a similar menu to the profile GUI, but admins can shift right-click on a user to clear their stats. Slash PvP levels set, add or remove, followed by kills, deaths, XP or level, then a player name and amount lets you adjust a player's statistics manually. Slash PvP levels coins set, add or remove, followed by a player and an amount lets you adjust a player's PvP level coin count. Slash PvP levels save saves changes from the plugin. Slash PvP levels reload reloads the plugin from the config file. First on the list of commands on the help page are commands that are mainly used by the plugin, though they can be run manually from in-game or the console. Slash PvP levels message followed by a player name and a message sends a message to another user's screen on the server. PvP Levels Broadcast lets admins send a broadcast message in chat. You follow the command with null or a permission to send this message to only specific groups. After entering null or a permission, everything written after this point is the message that will pop up in the chat for users. Slash PvP Levels Action Bar followed by a player name and then a message puts text right above a player's health bar that fades shortly after appearing. PvP Levels GUI open followed by a file name from inside the GUI folder in the plugin's settings folder and then a player name opens a specific GUI menu on a player's screen. For example, slash PvP Levels open profile.yml techno. PvP Levels items add player name, item and amount adds an item to a player's inventory. For example, PvP Levels item add Techno Diamond Sword 12. We can get more advanced with giving items by using the PvP Levels item set command. Slash PvP Levels item set slot number followed by true or false for whether it should replace whatever item is there already, player name, item name, amount, and then finally some law text. In this law text, you can add a slash n to indicate a new line. This way you can set a name as well as a few lines of lore text. Slash PvP levels, item set 3, true, techno, iron ore 1, followed by a bunch of text, gives me an item that looks like this. PvP levels of boosters, give, followed by a player's name, global or personal, 
a booster name, and a time adds a booster to a player. Locate the config in the plugin folder. The plugin's files are well documented and very self explanatory, so I'll lightly touch on some topics. In the config.yml file, we have the ability to let the plugin work with a MySQL database. We can tell the plugin to remove players when they haven't played for more than a certain number of days, and by default, this clears players' stats after they haven't played in about a month. Level Up has an option to clear XP on Level Up. You can either have levels and start from 0 XP per level, or you can level up when you reach certain XP milestones. Here, you can also add UUIDs of players who are blocked from earning XP at all. The Placeholders section lets you customize how the plugin's placeholders work. Kill Session stops XP farming off of certain players, and the bottom lines of this file contain chat messages for different events. Boosters.yml contains settings and localization for when a booster is used, and some settings for the shop GUI. Language.yml contains localization for the plugin. Levels.yml contains level settings, and in here you can add or remove levels, set required XP, and change what commands are run when you level up or down. The GUI folder contains all of the GUI menus that can pop up in-game, and they're all very similar. They contain items, names, lore, position, and commands that run when a user clicks on them. You could add just about any item here that runs just about any command. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!